Hello, I'd just like to show you how effective this simple indicator can be. Now it's called the Bolly Shooting Star Stroke Hammer Indicator. Uh, unfortunately not the most imaginative of titles, but uh, it's uh, highly effective and I shall, uh, I shall demonstrate that now. Very simply, I've already clicked on right click and pressed on insert study and I've selected Bolly Shooting Star Hammer. Okay, so I've already applied that and once you've applied something, as you know, just right click, go to edit chart and here I can select the Bolly Shooting Star Hammer Indicator. Okay, simply by ticking this box, you can see in the background it appears, the Bollinger Band, etc. You have some parameters here. Bar percentage. Currently it's set to 30, defaulted to 30, which basically means that the open and close need to be in the upper 30% or lower 30% of the bar. The, uh, the Bollinger Band length is defaulted to 20 and uh, so is the standard deviation defaulted to 2 which are the standard settings. Okay so we're quite happy with that and um, there is this other option here which is called the basis time frame. So if you wanted to uh, the Bollinger Band basis to be let's say um, of a smaller time frame or a higher time frame you would just type in there you know uh, 240 or daily or 60 minutes etc okay but uh, uh, this is beyond the scope of this uh, short tutorial um, so very quickly we've selected Bolly shooting star hammer let's just close this window this indicator looks for uh, shooting stars and hammers okay which are um, currently close to or exceeding the upper and lower Bollinger Band so let's take this first example okay uh, as you can see this is a shooting star coming into contact with the upper Bollinger Band okay when that happens basically you get a, a yellow arrow indicating pointing down indicating a short setup so it's now up to you if you want to take that trade so in this particular instance you could uh, put a short order here with the stop loss at the high and if you're familiar with, with the uh, Power Ranger strategy uh, you would take your target here when price reaches the opposite band and here we have another example uh, another setup okay uh, we get triggered in here and we get stopped out here we have a another example again this is a shooting star which is coming into contact with the upper Bollinger Band so you place a short entry at the low of this bar at the stop loss at the high and again you would take your profit down here somewhere when it crosses the lower band okay and here we have another example this is a, a long example so you're not entered on this particular bar so you stalk the entry once and uh, that's still you're still not entered so you stalk it again and uh, so after stalking the entry twice you're now entered into the trade with a stop loss underneath here and you take your profit when it crosses the opposite band and uh, if we carry on with this uh, we get another entry place the order at the low of the bar that's not triggered stalk the entry another bar and then another bar and then finally the fourth bar entry at the low stop loss at the high and uh, just let it go basically and as you know uh, wait for it to cross the opposite band and that's where you take your profit okay here's another setup enter on the low stop loss at the high as you can see we are stopped out of this trade as you know with the power ranger strategy once you're stopped out you get straight back in again so order at the low stop loss at the high and you take your profit down here somewhere when it crosses the opposite band let's have a look now here's another setup entry at the high stop loss at the low we get stopped out around here and uh, as I just mentioned a second ago we uh, stalk the entry we get back in for the second time once we're stopped out so we place our order there it's not triggered we then place our order here that's triggered long with a stop loss at the bottom and we just wait for the price to cross the upper Bollinger Band and we um, take our profit here and you can as you can see that's um, you know five to one or thereabouts um, and no sooner have we taken our profit we get another entry where we have a you know a high test bar or shooting star uh, type of bar where um, a candle rather and uh, so you know we place the order on the low that doesn't trigger 
stalk the entry one, two, three more bars, and basically on the fourth or fifth bar, we're triggered on this bar here. So stop loss here, uh, stop loss here, excuse me, uh, entry here, and uh, you know we take our profit all the way down here, and that's probably a good four or five to one again. Okay, and here another setup. Now this one, you know, we enter and we get stopped out about here. We re-enter and we nearly reach our target, but uh, not quite, unfortunately. And uh, let's see if there's any more. Okay, and here's another one. Okay, shooting star, breaking the upper Bollinger Band, stop lot, sorry, entry at the low, doesn't trigger, trail the stop, trail the stop, excuse me, trail the entry. Stop loss at the high, entry at the uh, low of this bar here, we're triggered in, and we take our profit down here somewhere uh, when um, price crosses. Okay, and hopefully you can see how um, powerful a strategy and setup this is, and the indicator offers you, you know, loads of opportunities. I mean, if we just pick another, this was the Aussie New Zealand. If we pick another one, let's say the Swissy, for example. Here we have a short entry, order at the low, stop loss at the high, and that's looking like it's uh, well on its way to uh, reaching its target, which would be the lower Bollinger Band here. And previously, again, stop loss at the low, entry at the high of this particular bar, and uh, take your profit up here. Again, that's several to one. Let's just see if, okay, and here's another one. You know, this bar has closed in the bottom 30%, and um, it's basically touching the upper Bollinger Band, so that uh, you know, flags up a, uh, a yellow down arrow, which uh, indicates to take a short trade. So we place an order at the low, that doesn't trigger, so we stalk it for one bar. Uh, that does trigger, stop loss on the high, and um, we take our profit possibly here, or uh, certainly down here. And that is, uh, again, you know, four or five to one. Right, now if you um, very simply um, combine this together with a support and resistance, or use an exponential moving average like a 50 or 200 to filter trades in a particular direction only or correlate the direction of the of the trades uh, with a higher time frame etc you are going to uh, phenomenally increase the amount of winning trades that you take so uh, you know i hope you really enjoy using this and uh, you know i wish you all the very best in your trading thank you very much bye bye